Hey guys, Drifter here. I have a sneaking suspicion that Call of Duty might be going free to play in the near future and that microtransactions are paving the way. Hear me out here, I've actually got some supporting evidence and good ideas behind this. The gameplay that you're seeing is me and J-Hub joining a game of momentum, getting dumped on to nearly losing and then coming back with me rocking the S12. Very, very close, exciting game. Not high scoring, kill streaks, whatever, but actually just a solid game. Let's talk about free to play Call of Duty. This already exists right now, but only in in China. They launched COD Online in China like two years ago or so. It's basically a mix of COD 4, MW2, and Black Ops 1 of the last time I've checked. Now that's a mix of both the maps, the guns, the game modes, and everything. And it was introduced for two reasons. Number one is because at the time the Chinese really didn't have consoles. I think they just recently allowed Xbox One to be sold there like a year or two ago. So Activision couldn't sell COD because there were no consoles to play it on. And generally speaking, they don't buy PC games. They're very much so into either piracy or free to play and that's not me, me me being racist that's just how the market works same kind of thing in Russia or most developing countries you either go free to play or just expect to get your games pirated a lot so they had this idea we're gonna introduce Call of Duty to China they did COD online it was free to play so you don't have to pay anything but it is very microtransaction have you have to pay microtransactions to get your guns your camos level up etc etc but this could have just been a test market for what could be coming in the future in the US uh, I remember people kind of went crazy when microtransactions were included for the first time in Black Ops 2 and it wasn't part of the season pass that was the big deal but you know what we swallowed it and we bought it anyway there were a whole ton of goofy microtransactions in Call of Duty Ghost Snoop Dogg announcer pack all sorts of weird camo stuff like that and Advanced Warfare we're doing buying supply drops which is somewhat similar to buying crates from Counter-Strike I know it's not a perfect analogy but here with me you're technically trying to buy weapons and you're gambling and all of these have worked a ton of people bought the Black Ops 2 camos even more people bought the weird announcer Announcer packs and you know and skins and stuff and ghosts and I think that the advanced warfare uh, advanced supply drop sales as much as I don't agree with them have probably been absurdly high I can't even imagine how much money they're making off of that and it's only increasing over time and it's working and these are sort of you at they're like testing the US these are US text uh, test markets and it's working little trial runs now there are some other sort of things that are going on that are periphery to this but sales of the $60 Call of Duty games are down like it hate it love it whatever sales I think they peak at MW3, we had a slight decline on Black Ops 2. We're talking like slight, 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 like, you know, 2 3%. Uh, pretty big drop on Ghost, and then a slight drop down to Advanced Warfare. This could be COD fatigue. This could be the community really didn't like the last couple of games for whatever reason. Not saying they're bad games or bashing on people here, but the, there's been a lot of, uh, we'll say, toxicity, but this is known as being a toxic community. We have new consoles launches, launching. People were saving up for new consoles then. They're saving up for them now. The new consoles have been a mixed blessing. A lot of people migrated to PC uh, or all sorts of things. So there's tons of reasons why the game sales are down. Also, video game sales in general, just like industry-wide, are down for completely, I don't know, reasons that I don't really understand, but they're down. Do you know what one area is up? Do you know what one area is doing really, really well right now? Free-to-play games and PC games. Both of those are bumping and just doing extremely well. And uh, people that make Call of Duty, which is Activision and the studios and the publishers and all the global partners or whatever, they're not dumb. They want to be in the money train. That's been a company that's always been about the money and the DLC. You can make jokes about that. Uh, my favorite comment actually was a while back I was talking about dedicated servers and somebody wrote on the comments, says Activision be like, who are these dedicated servers and do they buy uh, DLC? But anyway, they want to be in on that. So I have a suspicion that there is a backup plan plan brewing somewhere in this giant organization to launch COD Online in the US or a variant of it, maybe a newer version, better graphics, different maps or whatever, when the sales drop too low. At a critical point, the sales are going to drop too low. Uh, on the $60 games, and they're like, you know what, screw it, we're going free to play right now, we're going to take back over the market, uh, and they've probably got some sort of economic equilibrium, because obviously free to play is not the same as buying a $60 game, like, you spend more money on that, and then you've got the DLC on top, but if the sales drop too low, if they hit under a certain number of millions, we're just going to launch free to play, and my supporting evidence is more or less all the things that I've talked about, we already have microtransactions in the game, we're used to that, it's been proven that we as Americans and Call of Duty players will buy microtransactions even after spending money on the game, that's done. If you don't like it, that's too bad. People are already doing it. Uh, the Chinese test market, or maybe the pen uh, Chinese uh, penetration for Call of Duty, worked great. COD Online is a, success, is a success in China. As far as I know, I don't play it because you have to have a VPN to play it in the U.S. 
And there's an interesting one. Uh, Infinity Ward rehired the lead multiplayer designer from COD 4 and NW2, uh, the, the lead designer from those games, to be their multiplayer lead. Now, a lot of people are saying this supports an MW2 COD 4, you know, remake or Modern Warfare Collector series or that sort of thing. But what it could mean is that if we're launching COD Online and we're including old maps and old game modes and like retro code and all that sort of stuff, you want somebody that's an expert at that. So maybe that's what he's being hired for. And lastly, uh, Activision, Call of Duty in general, all the studios. Have been, sport, have been supporting Call of Duty Esports and trying to make it bloom. Now, the, the pro players would probably very greatly disagree with me about developer support or Activision support, but the million dollar COD champs would not happen. Like, the, the scene just does not have the money to guarantee a million dollar prize pool. It would be a much smaller deal. There would be less... Uh, it would still be a thing, but it would be lesser without that kind of prize pool and free venues and that sort of stuff. So they're kind of like, we're not going all in on it, but we've got something going on so that when we roll out our free-to-play, somewhat competitive multiplayer game, just like, you know, Counter-Strike, Dota, League, Hearthstone, like everything else that's going on right now, we've already got our pro scene intact, we can just roll straight into that. And I think this would be kind of a cool idea. I'm, I'm big into free-to-play games now. For those of you that know me, you know I probably play more League of Legends than I ever should. It would be nice to have COD as a good PC game, because COD really has not been doing so great on PC, guys. It's been struggling lately. It would be awesome to have a nice online Call of Duty that I could sink my teeth into. But there are some downsides. First of all, we would not be getting our yearly COD campaign. Me, personally, I don't play them. I don't care. It's not a big deal. A ton of people do. An ast astounding amount of people really do play the campaign, and that's a big deal to them. Them. And holy for holies, would the microtransactions ever go up? You think there's a lot of microtransactions now? You think it buying advanced supply drops or something? Wait until you see what happens when you have to buy every single camo. Wait to see what happens where you have like two or three guns at launch and it takes one week or two or three weeks to unlock a gun, or you could buy a gun pack for $5. It could be like 300 guns, you have no idea what it could be like, and there'd be no more COD hype train, that yearly, like, speculation, what's the newest COD title, what's the guns, that YouTube free promotion, that sort of big boom in sales at the end of the year, that is gone, that is no longer a thing. For your promotion, you have to rely on the esports scene or streaming or something like that, or just, like, you know, little sales, you can't do that big, like, November boom anymore for the game, so that's a downside, definitely probably more for me personally on YouTube, but it's a thing, and it's just something I've been thinking about. I really think that there is is a plan somewhere. If something goes really wrong in Call of Duty, we're going to see COD online and that m in the U.S., and that might actually be what Infinity Ward is working on. That would be really cool, but that's two years down the road. Guys, that's just my thought on it. Tell me what you think down there in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.